Howdy, YouTubers. I'm putting out this video. This might help somebody out that ran into the same problem that I did. I got a Kubota BX2370. Went outside, turned the key, and I had no lights up in the dashboard. Let me flip this around. So explain. we turned the key. We had no, no lights, no gauges. Nothing was working in this instrumental panel. I noticed a couple months ago I had moisture behind the glass and the other day I left this tractor out in the rain I forgot about it and it got wet all day long it was raining pretty heavy so that's when I turned the key and I had no light so I'm saying wow maybe this water or something got in there so anyway took it apart and what I found was it did have some water inside this casing this guy this guy sits inside this casing. So there was a little bit of water in there. And what happened was, I mean, you see this guy. I pulled this out. I said, man, that, that looks expensive. I <laughs> hope I don't got to change this. But anyway, the pins had some corrosion on them. So I said, eh, maybe that's the problem. So I took a little sandpaper and got the corrosion off. And... Uh, plugged it in and it came on the lights came on i turned the key off turned the key again the lights came on turned the key off turned the key again it didn't go on again so i said uh, maybe you got more moisture inside there maybe so what i did was i put it in the garage and i left it for a day let it dry out and it seems i just plugged it back in you know we'll take a walk over to the tractor we'll take a look so this is the clip that clips into the back of this this panel here on those pins so i left this on clip too because i figured moisture is in there let it dry up good and so far i've been turning the key off and on it seems like it's been lighting up so cross my fingers hopefully that's what was the problem was the moisture so if anybody wants to take this apart this guy sits inside that casing there, and there is, I believe, four screws in the back. And then the glass, actually the glass, I pulled on the glass and it just popped right out. So the silicone that was holding the glass sits in this groove here. So I'm going to redo that. I'm going to re-silicone that, put it back in. And that's how the moisture was getting back in it. It does look like it's got a vent. You see that little yellow right there there's like a little mesh screen you see not the yellow dot the other dot next to it it seems like there's like a little mesh screen i guess that uh lets air get in there to dry it up i'm not sure but the silicone around the glass is what did the problem and the water got in there so anyway this casing sits down in there and the way this comes out is you see on the top there's two clips one there one there i took a screwdriver stuck it in there and just bent this up a little bit on both sides two screwdrivers i used and then i went under here and stuck my hand up there and just pushed it right out like that so that's how it comes out just snaps into place so hold on one second, we'll plug it in and we'll Got try it. Plugged it. in, we'll turn the key and hopefully she lights up. And there it goes. So the culprit was the moisture, I believe. I mean, there was a little corrosion on the pins, but I don't know if that was really the problem. So I hope that helps somebody out out there that runs into the same problem. I tried to look for information on it. I didn't see anybody doing any videos about it. I did see some information on forums online. They were talking a little bit about it. But, you know, I had to figure everything out myself, basically. So, hope that helps somebody out. Take it easy.